Hello everyone, this is Ashish. I am a senior developer advocate at Elastic. And in today's video, we're going to uh, set up a rag by using the JMA model. Those who don't know JMA, JMA is a state of the art model released by Google. You can run JMA model on your local machine. Uh, JMA having a different variant like uh, JMA-2B, 7B, etc. Uh, Google recently launched JMA 2. And in this video, we specifically going to deploy JMA2 on our local machine and we're going to perform a rag. So let's quickly have a look on the flow. Uh, we having our sample data available into JSON format and we're going to create a chunks from, from that sample data. And we're going to ingest this chunk data into Elasticsearch. So while ingesting into Elasticsearch, we're going to pass these data through Elsevier model so that uh, Elsevier will generate the sparse vectors. At the end, your data will uh, will be inserted into two format, which is a, one is a plain text and another is a sparse vector format. Whenever you're going to hit any question, your uh, question first will hit to Elasticsearch and we're going to perform the vector search. So Elasticsearch will come up with the top three relevant document. And you can consider this document as your context window. So question plus context window will pass to, pass to JMA. And at the end, we can expect the accurate answers. So we'll see how it looks like. Uh, before that, we need a certain credentials like uh, elastic credential, hugging face token. So to, to get the elastic credential, you need to uh, create an elastic deployment. So for that, you can simply go on a cloud.elastic.go and just sign up and create a deployment. Uh, there are detailed steps available. You can simply refer this document. At the end, you will get the Elastic Cloud ID and Elastic API key. Uh, once you're done with the deployment, uh, just make sure your Elsevier model is up and running. So this is my deployment I already created. Now just go to the machine learning in analytics, uh, navigate to train models and you will see the Elsevier model two is already deployed and running. It's in green. So make sure it's up. And now you, you will need a hugging face token. So we're going to deploy the JMA two model uh, by using hugging face. So for this, you need to create a HF token. For this, you can simply click on this link. It will redirect to you on a hugging face documentation. And there is a detailed steps available how you can create a HF tokens. Once you created a token, now it is a time to pick a model. So you can pick any of this JMA model, but we're going to uh, use the JMA2 for now. So let's let's jump on a code. And yeah, so this is my Jupyter notebook. It's running on my local. And let's install the packages. So we're going to build the complete flow into Langchain. And we will see how to deploy this, uh, deploy the JMA by using hugging face. Let's import the package. So I already added my all the credential into environment variables. So I'm going to read from environment, uh, environment variable like uh, ES underscore AP underscore key and ES cloud ID. So I'm running as it is. And here I, am, I have given the index name is a uh, gamma hyphen rag. So uh, my my chunk data is going to store into Elasticsearch uh, in gamma hyphen rag index. All right, uh, now this is my sample data. Let's have a look. So this is a this is a JSON data, and it is nothing but the basically the workplace related data like what is my leave policy, what is my uh, what is the vacation policy, uh, what is the new employee onboarding steps, etc. So we going to divide this whole JSON into smaller chunks, and we're going to insert into Elasticsearch. All right, uh, to divide this into smaller chunks, we're going to use the recursive character text splitters. Uh, and we have specified the chunks underscore size equal to 500, which means it's going to create a chunks on every 500 characters. So I'm simply going to run this. All right, 
now it's time to indexing our chunk data which is presented into a docs variable so if you uh, if you notice i have specified the my elson model id which will you will get it from here uh, machine learning um, the train models and yeah this is the id just copy and paste uh, paste it here and right and let's run now I, I pass all the credential here and let's run this snippet all right i got a response from elasticsearch so my data has been inserted so let's see how this data looks like simply go to dev tools and perform the search query gamma hyphen lag is my index name and search all right so if you if you have a look uh, it's created a 9, 93 smaller chunks and every chunks having a plain text and the respective sparse vectors all right so and we're going to perform the vector search on this vector dot tokens field all right now it's time to deploy a jma model so let's see so this is the hugging face login snippet so if you have not set your hugging face token into environment variable simply uncomment this it will ask you for a hugging face token uh, the the page will looks like this so uh, this this window will pop uh, pops up and you have to enter your token and just log in you will be done or otherwise you can simply add add your hugging face token into environment variable so so i have added so i'm just i have just commented out and okay now it's time to initialize the tokenizer with the model so i'm going to use the gamma hyphen 2 hyphen 2b so here i'm using the auto tokenizer so auto tokenizer will uh, will convert your input stream into tokens for the jma so i'm going to hit this so all right i think uh, at the first time it's going to take a uh, take a much time like a 4 or 5 minutes it's depend uh, but i already deployed so it it is fast now uh, let's let's create the pipeline with a text generation so now this is the important step so i have given the model uh, i have passed the, my model variable here tokenizer but this is the max to tokens which is a 1024 it is uh, it is the number uh, the amount of new tokens to be generated right uh, the another parameter is a device so if you uh, if your hardware having a gpu support simply pass zero or if if you have the cpu so just pass minus 1 so on my local machine i have a G gpu support so i am just passing devices equal to 0 now uh, there is a repetition underscore penalty 1.1 so it is it is uh, important parameter to you know to reduce the repetitive tokens in in your output so the another parameter i have passed is a return underscore full underscore text is equal to false it this is by default true which means uh, whenever the jma is going to give the outputs it's going to give the output with the query and the response so to to avoid that i i don't need uh, i don't need a query to be displayed so i have simply passed this false so you can you can uh, read about this parameters on hugging face document so there are other parameters which will help you to tune so i mean use according to your use case all right let me run this i'm keeping a temperature zero this will take some time All right. Uh, so 
this is a format docs. It's nothing but I'm whatever the document I'm fetching from the Elasticsearch, I'm just formatting it. So I'm just running as it is. Now, if you have a close look, uh, I have defined the retriever here. So, and I'm passing K is equal to three, which means it's going to uh, pick top three relevant document. However, I can change this three to five, two, one, ten. It's totally depend on how much document you want, uh, you want as a context window. So I just kept it as a three. And this is my template. Uh, this is my prompt template. So I have given like a please write in a full sentence with the correct spelling and a punctuation. And if it makes sense, use list, right? And here the context is a placeholder and the question is a placeholder. So which means whatever the uh, whatever the top three document uh, we will fetch from the Elasticsearch is going to replace by context. And the question, whatever the question we're going to ask uh, this is going to replace by this question variable. All right, I think uh, let's define the chain and let's run this snippet. All right, now it's time to ask a question. So I already asked what are the new employee onboarding steps, right? And let's hit and let's see what what is the response like. Okay, the new employee onboarding steps include uh, attending orientation, reviewing policies, procedure, and this uh, this response is coming from my private data, right? Uh, similarly, let's ask another question. Let's see, what are the sales goals? Oh, now remember this, the inference time is differ uh, and it's totally depend on your hardware and there are some of the parameters you need to tune it, the way we tune in the pipeline. So you need to figure it out, which is uh, which is the actual value is working for your hardware and in, for your case. So in my case, this works perfectly. Okay, the sales goals for the fiscal year 2024 include increasing revenue by 20% and blah, blah, blah. So you will get a uh, accurate answer. Let's, let's cross verify this if possible. Uh, whether anywhere we have mentioned the 20% or not. All right. So yes, increase the revenue by 20% compared to fiscal year 2023. So, and it's, it's giving the answer in more beautiful way, right? Um, let's... Let's ask another question. How to apply for a vacation? All right. Yep. To request vacation, employee should follow these steps. And it's giving me the answer into list format as I specified here, if it makes sense, use list. So you can always play into your prompt and and you can expect the answer. So check your leave balance using our online portal, submit your vacation request form to your manager and etc. So these all responses coming from our private data. So this is how you can use the JMA, uh, JMA model to perform, you know, the question answer, uh, question and answering on your private data. Uh, which is presented presented into Elasticsearch. So that's it from my side. Uh, thank you for watching video. Thank you.